platform of grace on Africross TV. My name is Pastor Ugu Agubo and I'm bringing to you the topic, Process of Becoming. We're going to take our text from Romans chapter 8 from verse 29 and 30. I read, For whom he did for new, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestine, whom he called, and whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, then he glorified. I'm going to talk with you according to the name of God. At first, we're going to pray, Spirit of the living God, living God, give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to express yourself in this ones. As the hearers open your ears to hear, let there be hearing and understanding in the name of Jesus. For everything you want to become, what you have to know, you have a, a, an expected vision of a future. This is a vision. But for everything you want to become, guess what? There is a process to that. There is a process to that. And those are the process we're going to look at. Basically, there are five processes from this, verse, from this scripture. One of them is this. The first one is for knowing. For those he foreknow, he predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son. I want to tell you, brethren, that for knowing starts from the place where you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you have not come to the point of having an experience of the Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, in other words, you don't know what it means at all to have Jesus as a Savior, then you have not started. But we are coming here to let you know that there is something as for knowing. The English dictionary actually defines for knowing as being aware of events before it happens. Being aware. So the Bible actually take a cognizance of this stage. He said, for those he foreknew, he predestined. And what is predestined? Predestination has to do with planning your way before it comes. There is a process. The first one I said is for knowing. The next is predestinating. God predestinates you. In other words, he orders your steps before it comes to that point. We are going to go to the next one. The other one is called. God calls people. Today we hear a lot of people talking about God calling you. In every area you are looking at, in every end of a vision of your expectation, Guess what? There's a call. God gives you an assignment in that area. The English dictionary also explains what a call is. A call is a cry out to someone in order to summon or attract. God gives everyone an assignment. And in that process, you are supposed to understand that uh, the call is part of the process. The process of becoming. God foreknows you. He predestines you. And then you are called. After that call, many people will end at that stage. There's another stage, the next stage, the stage of justification. And what does justification mean? It means declare or make righteous in the sight of God. In other words, having a right standing before God. That's what uh, justification means. The Bible says, for those he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the likeness of son. And those he called, he does what he justifies. And after justification, there's a stage which is called the stage of glorification. We know a lot about glory. Many of us even name our children and ourselves glory. But today, glorification is the last phase or the final phase of getting you that thing you want to become. In the beginning, the Bible says God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was void. And the Spirit of God hovered on the surface of the deep. And the Lord said, let there be light. Before there was light, there was a process through that. If I'm going to bring this analysis on this, which I've mentioned, this five process of becoming, you find that it's also applicable in that area which was mentioned now. Yes, the stage of glorification is a stage that some of us are conversant with. We like to name ourselves glory and all that. Yeah, that's actually the end. By that time, you have come around the place where you are expected, the vision you have of yourself and of your future. There's an expected uh, end of your vision. Guess what? That is the final stage. But before you get to that glorification stage, you have the stage of justification. Justification is about made right with God, making right with God in terms of your, your systems, in terms of your approaches, in terms, and in terms of the values that you have. So the processes here, about five of them, as I said earlier, for knowing, predestined, called, justified, and glorified. Guess what? Once you have passed through this process of justification, God approves you because after he calls you, if after he foreknows you, he predestines you and calls you. And after that, you come to the stage of justification. Once God justifies you, my brother, the next thing that is left for you is glorification. That's when you arrive at the expected end. The Bible talks about Jesus. That at a particular time, the disciples were stranded. But the Bible says, and Jesus entered the boat. And they were at the end without the wings. In other words, at a particular time, there were situations that were chaos. 
But when Jesus entered the boat, there was a process before Jesus came into that. So at this stage, the stage of glorification is very key. So whatever it is you want to become, as the topic says, the topic says the process of becoming, whatever it is you are believing God to become, there's a process to you. Don't just assume that God is going to make all of the process happen for you without your interference. God expects a partnership between you and him. So he gives it for knowing. And I told you, with God on your side, every other thing is possible. The thing that seems impossible with man is possible with God. With man is impossible, but the Bible says not with God. For with God, all things are possible. No matter what it is, it is possible with God. But have you learned that there's a process to that? I see people having a call and flying with the call, not going through a process, not understanding the process. There's a process to achieving these things. And those processes are what the Bible refers to in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 20, uh, 29 and uh, verse 30. For those who knew he predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son. The likeness of God's son is Jesus. Everything you know about Jesus. What have you heard about Jesus? His miraculous life, his advantages over men, his strength he has, the kind of followership he had. People loved him, not because he was a pe- not because of Jesus' son, but they loved him because of the Son of God. Those were the characters that Jesus had. The Bible says he's pretending to be in the likeness of his son. That means the things that you want to achieve, it will not come in a form that the Son of God had. The things, the attribute that attributed to the Son of God will also be attributed to you. I want you to know, importantly, that the starting of all of these phases of becoming whatever is a full knowledge. You need to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And not missing words is as important as life and death because that's where the recruitment starts. After you, you've come to the point of making that decision of accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, then the next stage follows. The stage of phenomenon, the stage of predestining, the stage of call, the stage of justification. And then, after justification, you have not shown that to be glorified. And I want to let you know that the stage of glorification, it is God that glorifies. God is the one that glorifies. In the book of Psalm 8, it said, What is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you made him a little lower than the Elohim. And the Bible said, And you crowned him with glory and honor. That glory is what you are talking about. There's a process. Remember the story of Jesus. At the time of Jesus, Jesus went to a process. He was the son of God. He was the robe of majesty. Came on earth and stayed. Went through a process. He was died, crucified. On the table, the Bible said, He rose again from the dead. And after that uh, rising, he was glorified. So this is actually the process of becoming. So whatever it is, ask the spirit of the living God, what are the processes? But the starting point, if you are not a child of God, by that we mean, you have not made a decision. It's not a matter of whether you made a decision in the altar. The important thing is, have you actually come to the point of making that decision? The spirit of God is everywhere. It's around you, it's above, it's behind. If you can set and make that decision, sincerely, that's the starting point. Your foreknowledge starts right from that moment. And so much can be told of your life after that. God takes you to that process in partnership with himself. He predestines you, he calls you, and he justifies you. And after the justification, guess what? God glorifies you. My prayer is as many as I listen to the sound of my voice today, the issue, the stages that you're going to go through will finally bring you to the glorification in the mighty name of Jesus. So much will be thought of you. So much will be heard of you after you go through the process. Always remember there's a process. I've seen people jump from something and they become almost everything they feel. But after a while, they slam out again. Not because they don't know what, but because they fail to go through the process. There's a process of becoming. Once you give your life to Christ, the process allows you to know that God is in charge. And be humble enough to follow the process from uh, for knowledge to uh, predestination, to call, and then justification, and then God will glorify you. I pray that God will see you through in all of this, in all of your dealings. And today, may the hands of grace begin to speak on your behalf. Let everything you lay your heart to do find peace. And God, God of glorification, glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hope you were blessed. For prayer and counseling, please uh, contact us through the contact scrolling on your screen. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.